After a Mayaka City boy died from child abuse in Indiana, many are asking if there were warning signs. Manatee County Sheriff's deputies were very aware of the boy's family. As News Channel 8's John Rogers shows us, they did everything they could to help the boy. Authorities say last week, 12-year-old Eduardo Poso died a cruel death at the hands of his parents. Detectives say his parents frequently starved Eduardo and shackled him with chains and a shock collar in the bathroom as punishment. 32-year-old Luis Poso and 25-year-old Deanna Flores now face felony charges in the wake of his death. The family is from Mayaca City, and the Manatee County Sheriff's Office investigated them five times, dating back to March 2017. In each case, investigators went in and looked at what some claims were, and they found no signs of neglect or no signs of abuse. Deputies took this picture of Eduardo on December 3rd, 2018. He seemed happy and healthy. Days later, he and his family left the state. It's very evident that what happened to Eduardo had happened to him uh, during the last couple of weeks or months, um, but we didn't see any signs of that when we were doing investigations. Here in Mayaka City, some could have never imagined that this couple would be accused of such a crime. His parents seemed great. I mean, they seemed nice, down to earth, hardworking people. Up until last summer, Eduardo went to after school care at this community center. He seen somebody that needed help, he helped them. Whether it would be with something with homework and a game, he just helped everybody. The community is in mourning, wishing they could have done more to help him. In Mayaka City, John Rogers, News Channel 8.